Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mr. Mace, coming to you right now from the west coast of Canada, beautiful British Columbia. It's a beautiful day. It is the day before Halloween. But here we go, we have uh, Palette. So far I've listened to one of their tracks, which was Ain't My Home, which was, in my opinion, dealing heavily and just a straight up explore, exploration of the brutality, callousness of war, the brutality and, and just tragedy of war. And it dealt with that subject matter in, in a poignant way. It was, uh, the music video was, is heart wrenching, but very powerful at the same time. It was dealing entirely with the subject of how many people we've lost, sending young people to war for reasons that are usually just not justifiable uh yeah so I, I found that to be quite a powerful track not just thematically but the music of it as well so this is a persian band let's have a listen to this one it's called half of us and uh kurosh yagmai shared my video on instagram so that was pretty cool Definitely very, very cool. Uh, so all respect to Kurosh uh, for sharing that and reactions underscore IR. The entire team, all of you, everybody who's watched the videos, uh, it's so interesting that that connection can be made. It's one of the positive aspects, one of the unexpected flourishings that we seem to benefit from when it comes to technology. Technology is always... You know, not always a benefit, but uh, when those connections can be made, it can be pretty cool. So here we go. Palette, half of us. I see they have that rainbow color scheme underneath their name. I'm not sure if that's a nod to their inclusivity and tolerance or not. But um, yeah, they, they seem to be quite a progressive band and really speaking on real issues. Let's have a listen. Mm. Haunting strings. The violin. Haunting strings with the acoustic guitar. That's beautiful. تا سرد من نشود 
از گل سرخ نامش را بردیم تا پرنده های سپید به شهر روشن خورشید دوباره برگردم So this group, their music has a certain richness. It's really powerful emotionally. You get that just from the instrumentation itself, the melodies, the vocal, the words, you know, the, the Persian language. It just flows over the music. Like the music is like the riverbed and the words are like the river just, you know, crashing, rising, falling, flowing over all of this, you know, this intricate instrument instrumentation down on the riverbed and it just flows over beautifully and you get different bends around the river and the vocals really really speak to me that way i feel like this song is dealing with um you know they they they've shown a lot of children in these old almost home movies so i feel a message of like the power of art the power of uh teaching education the power of family the power of that generational bond, whether or not it's actually your child or not, but the power of uh, just generations and, and learning and the power of art and its play within that and just taking a second to just uh, really, really absorb everything. Absorb art, enjoy it, uh, and pass it on to the kids and the importance of children themselves just... Um, as the uh, arbiters and, and the new leaders in the next generations to come and how they take care and to teach them to take care and respect. So very nice. Um, of course, that's all just my interpretation. I have no idea whether or not that's at all correct, but I really like the music. <laughs> of youth, um, a certain playfulness and liveliness, it's very full of life, these images. It's like university now, so we had small children in the beginning, and now we're seeing pictures of like almost middle school, high school.
another beautiful piece um powerful you saw you saw those images of civil unrest of the aftermath of war the aftermath of a uh, destruction that was sort of a interesting juxtaposition with the beginning of the video which was quite innocent and playful and you saw images of people playing in the snow uh, going down the snow on the tubes and no matter where you live in the world we all share those similar moments of joy we have the exact same thing 30 minutes from my house we have you know snow covered mountains and we would go up with uh, tubes and, and slide down and just have fun so there's these universal moments of joy we all we all share with each other regardless of where you're from what your culture is what your language is uh, the similarities begin uh, the same the similarities are, are and, and that goes for the entire entirety of the world no matter what stereotypes might be um uh, you know propagated by by leaders so-called leaders um there's always the people on the ground the individuals who are kind at heart no matter where you go uh, of course you're gonna get bad people wherever you go as well so um, it's just about finding the good ones. So that was an interesting song. I, I would love to have some more uh, insight on onto that one. It's titled The Half of Us. Half of Us. Half of Us. Obviously, there's a relevance there to... Uh, I'm not sure if those are images of the Islamic Revolution or not. You would have to let me know. But anyways, we'll see you soon. Thank you for uh, watching the video, everybody. And take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.